Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade, playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 17.1, and this is episode 5 of season 7. And I believe we're going to give this place one quick run over just to check to make sure I got almost everything. I'm, I'm going to leave the uh, safe and all that for... Um, when I get a pickaxe, because I really don't relish chopping into that with just the uh, with just the uh, stone axe. Uh, yeah, got everything under there. Got everything up here. Yeah, and I want to make sure I get, I get all this because that kind of was rushed to check these so I might have missed something and I'm kind of thinking there might be something behind here but I could be wrong never know until you whoa okay I don't know I can't do anything with it so moving on we'll figure out something At least we're going to get some wood out of this. It's a hell of a fall, I'm sure. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still need to fix the needing repairs notice on that. Come on. Alright. So it don't look like there's anything hidden up here. Like on that roof or anything. But this place will be... An, a, a nice local spot to pick up some food in five days. So we'll just haul back what we got and start working on... Uh, Oh, come on. Pick it. There we go. Uh, start doing a little bit of work on the base to secure it, especially at night, since uh, it's going to be pretty easy for someone, to, one of the zombies, to swat their way through. And I definitely need the stone to make some more arrows. The last thing I want is to run out of their arrows. So we got lots of cotton nearby, which is good because we can use that to turn it, um, turn out some bandages if we need to. Right now we got plenty to go for that. So now one thing I like about this um, POI is that it naturally puts in this this trench all along it, the uh, perimeter of it. I can make use of that. Alright, so food items. Water. Um, put that in there, I guess. Uh, this has got to go in the other one. Okay. 
Damn it, why do I keep doing that? Alright, so first priority is get some stone. And fortunately, there is some stone deposits out here. And we'll just whack away. I think we got a wandering horde out here. Also known as free XP. Let's get a conga line of carnage here going. Didn't fool me, buddy. See, the way I, I look at it, Get them coming in at you, single file in a line. If you miss the guy you're aiming at initially, there's a chance you can hit one of his buddies behind him. It's not guaranteed, but it increases your odds. And go down, Margaret. Thank you. I think that's all of them. So let's let's deal with this stuff here. So we got two points to play with. Um, let's see. What should we do? Um, I don't really see any use in these right now. Um, I do want to get where is oh there it is so I want to get this up I need strength level 2 okay oh nice I, didn't, I see they've changed the settings on that one um Yeah, we'll go with that. I was going to get the pack mule. They reconfigured the menu a little bit, which is kind of odd, but it's not bad, so just got to get my mind reprogrammed on that. And supposedly we're getting more XP for gathering resources than before. So that helps. Um, I can't remember all of the things that they they uh, have in the change log, but yeah, it's moving in the right direction. Not maybe not totally, but I'll take what I can get for right now. But it really does, at, at the early stages of the game, this is tedious. Let's see, 36, okay, we're getting there. I want to get at least 250 arrows. And then I need to get some um, wood frames and some wood to... Uh, build up those wood frames so we'll see how it goes
this is actually pretty good because uh, I've been hammering pretty straight on this and I know that if this was just Alpha 17 I'd be out of stamina already so that and, and the the help of the perk does make this uh, a lot better just keep hammering on I had a steel pickaxe right now. <laughs> I really miss those days when you're in the end game and three wax is all it takes to go through the entire boulder. All right, I'm going to get rid of this tree mostly because it's blocking line of sight. And I am going to need some wood anyway, so we're just kind of changing things up a little bit. So it's not stale. <laughs> yeah, all these trees that have a, a block view here with the lower branches, I definitely want to get out of the way. I want to be able to see them coming from a long ways off. Much like that uh, wandering horde we dealt with, um, I want to be able to hear them, then see them, then kill them. Not wait until they get through the trees and have them be too damn close and have to back off a bit, so... I really do wish they'd fix that, that notice. Alright, 251. Let's get the, this one here. And maybe one more tree after this, and then we'll go and get some more rocks. I know this is not going to be the most exciting episode, but... Um, This is what we do. <laughs> to get to the exciting stuff, we have to do boring stuff. I mean, I'm entertained by this stuff, but not everybody likes chopping wood. <laughs> One thing that I, I was thinking about might help me out a, a fair deal on Horde Night is if you look over to the left there, this cabin is kind of in um, the shelter of a mountain on two sides. And that's helpful because then I only have to look at one or two sides. Um, protect the base so I don't have to be looking all the way around me at, at all times bump 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 I'm hearing something off to my right Could be just the wind, but um, 
May have been just the wind. So, let's see here. Might as well get the stump and see if there's uh, honey in it. some point but now we need to let's see we got 420 wood let's go and deposit some of this uh, etc stuff here um, I don't want to keep the pine seeds at least not for now Let's go and hack some more stone. And as you can see now, we're getting a better view of the area around the base. And that side was already pretty good, but no one's going to be sneaking up on me anytime soon. big old rock pile just off up there to the left because uh, zombies tend to get confusolated and get stuck in them uh, why is there coal in there why did I do that Sure, we're completely topped off. And that. Let's see. Okay, so we're doing good there. My health isn't going up. So I kind of have to wonder about that. Not, it's not like an emergency or anything, but still, I kind of want to keep it at the maximum. <clears throat> now, the next thing I'm going to have to upgrade, um, perks-wise, is either tool crafting or... Um, Pack mule. We'll see how that goes.
And I'm just looking off into the distance, up, like up in here, just to uh, make sure everything's good. There's nothing to sneak up. And I'm also just checking out to see what other trees and obstacles I'm going to have to remove as well. I don't want any shadows around the, the house. Kind of obscure the view and also uh, potentially hide Mr. Zombie. Big one. All right, so I need I'm going to need to get some more stone because, like I said, I want to get my arrows up to two fifty. And I'm going to have to start looking into um, maybe making a crossbow at some point. I don't know what the requirements are. I, I think you're going to need a, um, a workbench for it. But I got one here at the base. So we'll have to take a look at, at that after this tree goes down. whenever the street goes down. <laughs> Almost done. Get this thing cleared up and uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, we need. Forged iron. I think I have some. Mechanical parts and leather. Um, no, I can't go up through there. Uh, let's see. I thought I picked up some mechanical parts. Uh, iron bars, but apparently not. I'm just going to grab some, uh, uh, new, why am I in this? Ooh. Yeah, that should do. Um, stone arrows. Okay, so we've got those being made. Um... Yeah, we'll do it. Plenty of wood. Uh, I'll come up here in the bedroom. So basically what I want to do is build a bridge to the roof of the garage <coughs> and that should protect me from well protect the house mainly and then just give me that uh, high ground advantage
because it's going to be night soon. I'm not going to record during the night unless something happens. Um, let's see. Okay, that's going to take a bit. So it does that crap. That's not too smart. And this is a steel roof, isn't it? Tagnamit. Yeah, well, we can hop over that for now. Probably fix that later. Chop this stuff out, and uh, probably put another door up in here for this side. This takes me back to the earlier days when I would take prefabs like this and make it my base for quite a long time, if not the whole time. It's been a while considering that uh, all I've been doing is making my own bases. Okay. Now, these should be able to block the light from getting out. Now, I kind of prefer to be able to see out these, but um, I, mean, I can just go out on the roof now. So block down, block all the windows. Get all this uh, cloth. And I'll probably end up putting some torches on the inside here, at least until I can get uh, electrical. I don't think I'll be using electrical on this particular um, base here. I'll probably use it on, on an actual base that I build. It. If I can find the right location and get all the right parts. So. And we can just fix that.
that's not boarded up. I think this is probably a good spot to leave the episode. I think I'm going to record the next episode um, in the morning of the next day. I'll do as much ga uh, resource gathering as I can tonight. And it, that's going to be kind of boring to watch anyways, and it's going to be dark, so I don't think anyone wants to see an almost black video with little to nothing going on. But... Yeah, if, um, zombies do steer something up, then I'll, I'll record it and just go with that. So anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content, and we'll check out the links in the description box below. And until next time, see you later. Twitch, Twitch.